St. Joseph's Orphanage, say it ain't so. We don't need no education. We don't need no thought control. No dark sarcasm in the classroom. Teacher, leave them kids alone. Hey, teacher, leave them kids alone. Pink Floyd. A few weeks ago, my wife and I attended a presentation and exhibit with the former Lieutenant Governor Molly Gray at the Manchester Community Library. The event was about what happened at St. Joseph's Orphanage in Burlington, Vermont. To read some of the painful quotes from the kids that were raised in this orphanage, you can go to this website. The Children of St. Joseph Orphanage organization is working to raise funds to create a public memorial and healing space in front of the building that once housed uh, the, the orphanage. You can see the exhibit at the Manchester Community Library until March 1st. The orphanage was supposed to be a place of refuge for kids who were either aband abandoned by their parents or taken by the state. The facility was operational from 1854 until 1974. And during that time, atrocities occurred that would unnerve Stephen King. These kids were not raised in a secure and loving environment. From Vermont Folk Life, and I quote, The St. Joseph's Orphanage in Burlington was home to more than 13,000 children from 1854 until 1974. Although the Catholic-run institution was held in high regard in the community, accounts began to emerge in the 1900s from scores of former orphanage residents describing abuse at the hand of nuns and other clerical personnel, unquote. According to a story in VT Digger on April 1, 2021, the Vermont State Senate Judiciary Committee began taking testimony from some of the survivors of the orphanage. The committee heard heartbreaking testimony. The chair of this committee and my senator, our senator, Dick Sears from Bennington, ushered through S-99, sponsored by Senator Chris Pearson and Keisha Rahm Hinsdale. The bill proposed to recognize the hideous acts that transpired in this building and to allow the survivors to sue for retribution. From WGBH in Boston, dated August 28, 2023, quote, The children at St. Joseph's Orphanage in Burlington, Vermont, suffered incredible abuse at the hands of the Catholic Church, author Christine Keneally reveals in her new book, Ghosts of the Orphanage, a story of mysterious deaths, a conspiracy of silence, and a search for justice. Keneally, speaking on Greater Boston, described the abuse as violent and unhinged, detailing the story of children being thrown downstairs or held outside of windows upside down as punishment. They suffered emotional abuse, physical and sexual abuse, and at the time it was completely invisible to the outside world, Keneally said. Keneally said this type of abuse was not exclusive to St. Joseph's and happened at other orphanages around the country. She said both priests and nuns were abusive and a culture of obedience, silencing and protecting the church encourage predators. She said many people did not believe the children's story. That's why she wanted to write the book. According to Macy Law Firm, quote, in recent times, more than 19,000 victims have come forward with credible accounts of abuse by over 6,800 Catholic priests after trying to cover up these crimes and abuses, the church has paid out over $4 billion in settlements. 
It was stunning to sit in the Manchester Community Library and listen to the courageous men and women who were orphans slash victims of the St. Joseph's Orphanage. One by one, they stood up and before a room full of strangers told their disturbing stories. It's mind boggling to think that this could ever happen anywhere in the world. It's beyond comprehension that this could have happened in our great state of Vermont. Did people back then not know what was happening or did they know and simply turn a blind eye? It appears as though they turned a blind eye. Of course, some people knew what was happening at the St. Joseph Orphanage. Just, just like people knew what was happening with priests, nuns, and vulnerable kids throughout the world. The horrible crimes committed by these perverted people may only be dwarfed by the silence of those who knew what was happening, but were too cowardly to speak out. In 1933, Hitler began his anti-Jew campaign. Six years later, he was quoted saying, quote, if war erupts, it will mean the Vernichtung, extermination of European Jews, unquote. By the end of World War II, this horrible creature had executed over six million people who were Jewish. The world wondered how this could possibly have happened. It's easy. Good people did not speak out. If you think it can't happen again, you're wrong. It's happening again as I write this. Good people are once again turning a blind eye to the possibility that we elect a president who has said that he will be a dictator for one day his first day in office, and will turn his back on our allies. Our society only works when those who want to remain silent for fear of retribution find the courage to speak out, not only for themselves, but for the defenseless among us. Think Alexis Navalny. My name is Bob Stannard. This is The View from My Place. Thanks for watching. Yeah.